Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast where we're going to be solving this engineering mechanics uh, problem and it reads uh, determine the moment of inertia of uh, the area about the x-axis as well as the y-axis. This problem is coming from uh, the engineering mechanics uh, statics uh, textbook 13th edition by R.C. Bella. So we have this problem and we have been asked to determine the moment of inertia about the x-axis and the y-axis right uh, to start with let me briefly discuss just what moment of inertia is of an area of course so moment of inertia of an area it is also called moment uh, second uh, moment of area or it is also called area moment of uh, inertia <coughs> And mathematically, this moment of inertia about the x-axis is defined as ix, which is equal to integral of y squared dA, okay? And moment of inertia about the y-axis is defined as integral of x-axis dA. So what is this moment of inertia? Moment of inertia, you can think of moment of inertia as a, a, it is a geometric property, a geometric property okay just like centroid is a geometric property a uh, moment of inertia is also a geometric property of a shape uh, such as uh, a cross section of uh, a beam uh, that describes how the area of that particular shape is distributed around an axis that you have chosen okay so you can have moment of inertia about the centroidal axis you can have moment of inertia about any axis that you choose right so uh, what are some of uh, the uses for mo moment of inertia of course it has several uses among them i'll give an example within the structural engineering discipline uh, we use moment of inertia to calculate the deflections of uh, beams uh, we also use moment of inertia for uh, the buckling load calculations of our columns and many other applications in uh, uh, structural engineering. Of course, it's, that's not the only discipline where moment of inertia is used. There are a lot of other disciplines within science and uh, engineering. I gave an example in one of uh, the, the video, which you can check. I'll share the link and in that video I gave an example of uh, the deflection of uh, beams right so let's dive into this particular problem and uh, address this uh, question all right so to, to start with for a cave or for the area okay that is being defined by this particular function uh, what we're going to do is we are going to get a small differential strip, a small differential strip, differential strip that is parallel to the axis you want to find your moment of inertia. So, so like in this case, I want to find moment, I want to start with moment of inertia about the x-axis. I'll get a strip that is parallel to the x-axis. So I'll draw a small differential strip like so okay there we go and this strip cuts the cave it cuts the cave at uh, x comma y okay so if that is the case then i expect this whole uh, length of my uh, strip to be equal to x and this height this height there to also be equal to y so if this is the case therefore the centroid of this small strip the centroid in the x direction of this small strip is going to be equal to this one is going to be equal to x squared is equal to x divided by 2 right and then our da which is our differential area for this small strip since this strip think of it as just a very small rectangle so this is going to be equal to x 
times its thickness. What is the thickness of this? The thickness of this, this strip is, we are getting this differential strip. And this thickness is dy. Okay, so our dA is going to be equal to x dy. Alright. Then our moment of inertia about the x-axis will be equal to ix is equal to integral of y squared. Like we said, this is also called second moment of area. Okay, so we are taking um, a moment of area twice, right? Hence the name second moment of area. Okay, so integral of y squared dA. Okay, and this ix therefore is going to be equal to y squared our da is just x dy okay and then we know that the function that covers this curve is equal to y squared is equal to 2x and we can write this in terms of x okay therefore this is going to be equal to y squared divided by 2 so having done that then we are going to replace this x here all right we are going to replace this x there and if we did so then we are going to have this expression as moment of inertia about the x axis is equal to integral and the the, 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 the the constants of integration because we are integrating with respect to, to y therefore our constant is from 0 to 2 right so 0 to 2 like so great okay 0 to 2 okay and then there we go uh, what do we have we have y squared y squared our x we said is going to be equal to y squared also y squared divided by 2 then dy okay and then ix therefore is going to be equal to we can factor out a half and then this becomes y to the power 4 dy and if we integrated this, this becomes 1 over 2. Then this becomes y to the power 5 divided by 5, evaluating from 0 to 2. And if we evaluated this, this gives us, this is 2 to the power, 2 to the power 5 divided by 5 by half, which gives us a 3 point. 2 a 3.2 okay this is a 3.2 meters to the power 4 this line here here we go let's draw this line here so let's now find moment of inertia about the y axis so again to do that we are going to draw a differential strip this time around that that is parallel to the y axis Since parallel differential strip will be in this direction like this okay all right something like that and this thickness is dx and it cuts the curve or uh, yes the curve at x comma y and therefore this length here is x and uh, this height here is also going to be equal to y okay so if this is the case therefore this length of this particular strip is going to be equal to 2 okay 2 2 minus y okay great and our da our small differential area for this is going to be equal to 2 minus y times the thickness which is dx is that fine great then this <coughs> the centroid or the centroid or uh, height for this small strip is going to be equal to is going to be equal to this one will be equal to y cared is equal to y plus 
2 minus y divided by 2, which eventually gives us a y plus 2 divided by 2. Okay, great. So uh, then we know that moment of inertia about I, uh, y axis, i, i sub y is equal to integral of x squared dA. Okay, and our i y is going to be equal to x squared. Our dA we said is 2 minus y dx. And then we know that our y squared is equal to 2x and therefore our y is going to be equal to root of 2 x to the power half. Okay, so we replace this, we replace this y here, we replace it there and if we did so then we are going to have i y will be equal to integral since we are integrating with respect to to x our integration constants are from 0 to 2 x squared then we have 2 minus a 2 there and then with an x with an x to the power half okay dx let's expand this so this is going to be equal to i x i sub i sub y 0 to 2 uh, this becomes a 2x squared then minus root of 2 x squared times x to the power half okay this becomes a 4 divided by 2 so this becomes x 4 plus 1 is a 5 divided by 2 right mm -hmm. It's a 5 divided by 2 dx. Okay, let's move up where we have some space. Therefore, i i sub y is going to be equal to, if we are to integrate this, this becomes equal to 2x to the power 3 divided by 3 minus root of 2. And then we have x to the power uh, that is 5 over 2 plus 1 that becomes i2 over 2 which is 5 over uh, 7 over 7 over 2 7 right 7 over 2 and uh, then times to this side divided by 7 okay and we are evaluating from 0 to 2 so let's let me move this let me move this like so great okay so there we go we have uh, this expression like that great therefore our i y if we evaluated this uh, this gives us 2 times 2 to the power 3 divided by 3 minus uh, root of 2 times 2 to the power 7 over 2 uh, times 2 and divided by 7 okay so we have a 0 point 7 uh, 6 1 9 okay meters to the power 4 great so we have Moment of inertia about x-axis, we found that is 3.20 meters to the power 4. And moment, uh, moment of inertia about the x-axis is equal to 0 0.7619 meters to the power 4. This is the final solution for our problem. And I hope the video was helpful. And if it was, give me a thumbs up, like my video, and continue subscribing. Check out my other videos on moment of inertia. Bye-bye, and see you in my next uh, screencast.